Yeah. So all of this cleanup is happening. I'm assuming in the five days after all of these residents were evacuated. Five days after that, they're told, okay, everything's safe. You can come back. Like the EPA. Would y'all believe them? Like genuinely, Meg, if you lived there, would you believe that? I would not. I would not. (laughs) Um, Specifically because these residents start pouring back into the town and they are having physical symptoms. Like as soon as they get back into town, the air smells really weird. I think it's the chlorine that they were using to clean stuff. Um, People reported that they were feeling dizzy, feeling nauseous. Their throats were closing up. It was hard to breathe. Their children were getting rashes all over. And the EPA is like, um, so we tested the soil and the water and the air, and it doesn't look like, you know, these toxins are really above the limit that we consider toxic. I like your EPA so, voice. <laughs> so, you know, and 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 the residents are just like, um, no, there was a woman who came forward that her chickens died. Like, it's not her even chickens just fish. died. Yeah, there was a woman who came forward that said her chickens died. And let me play Devil's Africa for a moment. If this happened in my town, I would be blaming a stub to toe on them. I would be getting whatever check I could from the government yeah, in no. Norfolk. So I would be like, oh, that injury I, I had five years ago from wrestling, that just happened actually right now because of the vinyl chloride. So <laughs> <laughs> take, take what I say with a grain of salt. But mm-hmm. yeah, there's there's been people who have reported like serious symptoms in, in their bodies and that yeah. chickens and livestock and stuff are, are suffering as well. Right. And the EPA's response to this, I the amount of articles I read talking about the <laughs> residents and what they're going through, every single time, the EPA, local officials, everyone is like, contact your medical provider, but we assure you <sighs> that it's safe. It is like the highest level of gaslighting happening to these where 5, have we heard residents. this before where have we heard this before do you remember and flint michigan still does not have 100 percent clean water so that is something that we yeah. also have to look back at but do you remember mm-hmm. when barack obama visited flint michigan or detroit or whatever and held up a glass of water drank it in front of the crowd i think he actually pretended to drink it and said look it's safe you can drink the water and then it wasn't actually safe and they found lead in the water this is what that's reminding me of. I don't trust the government. I don't trust the EPA. Um, I don't trust the corporation fully. that did this to this to this small town either. And it's sad to see because these people there are not necessarily politically powerful. <laughs> <laughs> 